Well, good morning, guys, and welcome to a uh, kind of windy Las Vegas. Here is the Las Vegas Strip behind me, but more importantly, here is Royalty Exotics, and that is what we're going to be doing today, renting a supercar, or maybe a Jeep, or maybe something else. I don't know. Apparently, I've got options. I've known the guys at Royalty for a little while now, and it's about time we did a video together. So today's the day. Let's go inside, get the paperwork done, and see what cars they have for me. Paul, don't mind if I do. What? Oh. Okay. Well, that's strange. Normally, this is full of cars, but there are actually quite a few outside here. Um, but I'm not mad because we have the Bugatti Veyron. Now, I'm not sure they're going to let me take this out today, but who knows? Maybe one day. Maybe one day. And let me know in the comments, do you think I should do some more bike content? Because you know I love bikes. I've never done it on the channel other than a bit of pit biking and uh, motocross stuff. But... I would love to take one of these out and go and explore. What's How up? You going, man? How you doing? Good to see you. I hear you have some cars for me. I've been talking to Mario. Definitely. And he said, come by and you'd be able to hook me up. Yeah, I've got some options outside if you want to take a look. Sure, yeah, let's, let's do, do it. it. So how come there's nothing in here? Busy weekend. Man. Yeah, you know, we're clearly. Getting, we're getting back this is normally there. like packed. Oh, packed. Absolutely packed. Oh, hello. Look who this awkward person is. It's Caitlin Taylor hello, after you, buddy. You. Hey, what's up, babe? Hello. Say hello, everyone. Hi. All right, so what do you got? So first option, we've got our fully customized Jeep Wrangler, supercharged lift kit, full audio. What? That looks like a tank. Right. <laughs> uh, you know, you can go with the slingshot. It's a beautiful day outside. Uh -huh. So that's always an option. And then, of course, the Lamborghini Huracan. Oh, mate. Well, I can tell you that if I was going to do some off-roading, I would definitely take the Jeep. That thing is sick. I don't think I've ever seen a Jeep that looks like this. Oh, yeah. Wow, that is insane. Holy crap. And then... This is gorgeous. That is amazing. This is the highest mileage Huracan in the world. Really? Yeah. What, and what do you mean by high miles? So it's uh, sitting at about 185,000 right now. 100, 185,000. It's uh, the best car we've ever had. What? It's incredible. How, how old is it? What year is it? Uh, it's a 15. It's one of the first Huracans delivered. Oh my god. But it's been goodness. nothing but good to us. That's why it's still on the road. That is, I mean, the paint looks amazing. That's unbelievable. Okay, all right, and then the slingshot. Slingshots, man, they're perfect. If you got, if anybody's, if you're looking to get out to Red Rock, cruise down the strip. Like I said, beautiful day. So yeah, can't go wrong. So I've never actually driven one of these, and I'm not sure what I think because I've never driven one. I can only go on how they look. Right. And I'm not, I'm not that keen. I think they're a bit weird. Yeah, they're definitely out there. You right. Know, but apparently, that an they're, absolute scream they're to drive. So much fun to drive. You know, you can. Uh, they got a lot of torque down low, so it, it's not slow by any means. Really? Really. Yeah, I mean, they are interesting looking. So it's it's essentially like a, almost like a snowmobile, but with wheels instead of skids. Exactly. Because you've just got the one tire in the back. It's belt driven. So I don't know if you guys can see this. So we're belt driven here. And then just one big chunky tire on the back. Let me know, what do you guys think? Do you like the slingshot? I, I, I'm undecided, but they have tons of them here and apparently it's a really popular rental so maybe i'll have to take one out one day but there's only one choice all right <laughs> there is only one choice let's go inside and get it set up perfect all right so we're gonna do all the paperwork and then we'll be back in two seconds and i'll be in the car paperwork is done i'm now the proud renter of a lamborghini huracan with almost 200,000 miles that's that's wild first of all though what do you think i think i'm nervous <laughs> Why? Because you're a crazy driver. Uh, absolutely not. How do you get in? So if we go like this. Cheep, cheep. And it opens for you. Uh, what do you think of the car? I love it. I think you should get one. <laughs> Have you been in a Huracan? No, I haven't. All right. My first well, time. First time. Let's go. You in? Well, clearly Caitlin Taylor's ready. Seriously, 200,000 miles. My Mercedes, my new Mercedes, oh, my new old Mercedes hasn't even done that many. That is insane. And it looks great. Can do the honors? Don't mind if I do. Woo! <laughs> so the first thing that you do on a Lamborghini is you go from Strada down to Sport and then into Corsa. What's that mean? Uh, Corsa means the most fun in Italian. So today, the idea is we wanted to take one of these cars on a fun trip that you guys could do if you came out and did the same thing. 
Um, so we're going to avoid the strip because it's full of traffic and it's actually quite boring to drive a car like this on. And instead, we're going to go to the Hoover Dam because I've never been there uh, in a car. I've, I've flown over in a helicopter, uh, but I've never actually been there in a car and it looks pretty cool. Uh, and I also watched Transformers where they had a big fight there. And so ever since then, I've always, what are you laughing at? I've always wanted to go. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to drive to the uh, Hoover Dam and then from the Hoover Dam, we're then going to kind of loop around and there's some other cool spots on the way back through to Vegas. I think the whole loop is about a two hour drive and the rentals here are four hours. So that should give us plenty of time to stop, take pictures, enjoy ourselves and uh, yeah, just kind of get to see what it's really like to drive a Lamborghini Huracan for a prolonged period of time. This is the route. It is a one hour 50 loop. I don't know if you can see this, but basically it goes all the way around to the Hoover Dam and then loops back around. So we're doing this kind of counterclockwise thing and it looks to be about some miles. So we have unlimited miles, which is nice. So uh, yeah, let's go and explore Las Vegas. Tunnel. <laughs> it sounds like gunshots. I love it. Do it again. All right, we'll wait for another tunnel. <laughs> like that. <laughs> Ready? Ready. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> this is the thing about exotics is that they have to be obnoxious. Like, there's no point in having an exotic that doesn't sound like that. I want every single car that I own with a V10 or a V12 to do that. The thing is, I would always want to drive it. Right there, 4,800 RPM. So you'd go 5,000, let off, gunshots. <laughs> it's so much fun. This is one of the best thing about cars is that it doesn't matter if I'm driving this or if I'm driving like Murder, Murder, Murdoch. You know, it, I enjoy just being in cars. Like, it doesn't matter if they're fast, slow, lifted, whatever they are. Like, there's just something cool about being in a vehicle that opens up possibilities and opportunities for you. And, you know, like when we were driving to uh, Mammoth in Murder Murdoch, like, it's a Dodge Caravan. It's a, it's a soccer mum minivan. <laughs> but how much fun did we have? Like, it was so much fun. And now I'm driving through the desert in a Lamborghini Huracan. And it's like, this is a totally new or different type of... Uh, happiness and enjoyment that you get from it but the, the the same thing links all of them which is it's four wheels and you just have to go out and find your own adventure and i always keep coming back to that same thing and it's something that i'm realizing more and more is like find your own adventure like that's what it's all about and so it doesn't matter what car you have yeah right now i'm living the life and driving a lamborghini but equally i was happy driving a minivan so just enjoy what opportunities you have in front of you and just bring every last little bit of joy out of them because you only get one shot right you only get one chance of this so you better make it count but I just have found this bridge in the middle of nowhere and I figured that we could maybe just park under it and then maybe just pop the windows down like this and then maybe just go Sounds so good. Do it again <laughs> um, Babe, you gotta, you gotta leave your firearms here Oh, bummer See, further to my point, it doesn't matter what car you're driving. I they're just, those. they're all fun. They're, well, no, they're not all fun. Priuses suck. If you drive a Prius, then you've got to change that. But other than that, cars are all fun. Oh, and G-Wagons. G-Wagons also, no good. Hi, guys. How, how are you doing? Today? Good, how are you? Good. Any firearms or guns vehicle at all? No. no Hi, is it recording me? <laughs> it is, yeah. Good, I got a good smile. <laughs> <laughs> good side. You do. Okay, no guns, right? No, nothing. Are you have a good one, right, guys? Thank you. Play one all the way down. We're at the Hoover, well, we're at the start of the road to the Hoover Dam. Um, so now I 
think that's it. I think we just get to drive all the way down and go across. Because they built this big freeway that went sort of parallel with the bridge to stop all of the traffic. Because this used to be the only way to get across it. Whereas now they built that freeway to kind of reduce the risk of any type of threat or anything. Um, and now it's more of just like a, a scenic route that you can do where you can come check it out. Oh look, a slingshot. I bet you that's from uh, Royalty. So the Hoover Dam is a hydroelectric dam, uh, which is why you can see tons and tons of these uh, electricity poles, pylons. There are so many, look out here. There are so many. And basically what they do is they use the water from the, uh, the, the dam and it passes through these huge turbines and that generates electricity basically. So hydroelectric, water and electric, in case you didn't know what hydro and electric meant when they're together. So yeah, here's the bridge. So this is the big bridge that they built. Um, and I've actually flown the other side of that in a helicopter. Oh my God, it is gorgeous. Holy mackerel, Batman. That is a big old bridge, isn't it? So we just went and tried to park, and the lady said that that is the closest parking lot but I figured we could drive across the bridge first, have a look at what the dam looks like, turn around, go back, and then we'll go for a little walk because I'm not really ready to get out of the car yet. <laughs> Is that why we went through yeah. the parking garage? Yeah. Well? <laughs> In case you guys weren't aware, this is where the Transformers Superbase is. Um, it's a pretty closely guarded secret, but a few of us actually know about it. So underneath here is where the Transformers are. And then also, I don't know if you can see this here where it says Nevada time see that? You see it. So actually that is a monument to MC Hammer and on the other side it says Hammer Time. <laughs> what is wrong with <laughs> you? Dude, this is fun. This is fun. Are you having fun? I'm having fun. I'm enjoying myself. I can tell. <laughs> so apparently this is the only like project, government project, that was finished ahead of schedule and under budget. Uh, I don't know how they managed to do that. I heard it from Jim on the helicopter tour, he told me. Um, but yeah, apparently that is the case. Which is incredible when you think about it, because where where do you start? Like, how do you begin building something like this? Because it's not as though this was built recently. You know, like how, um, yeah, it baffles my mind. My tiny little braid. Wow, it's windy up here, but this is the backside of the Hoover Dam. So we've just got to take this road and walk all the way down there. Boop down to that and we can do that by magic so we're gonna zoom there right wow so this is the high tide mark here and this white section this tan line is where the, <laughs> the water used to be oh look the ferrari california so yeah basically this feeds the dam and it comes all the way down here and then goes through all of that and then out the other side but hopefully there'll be some plaques and we'll learn exactly how it happens because I am not the best Hoover Dam expert in the world, having only been here once and this being that one time. <laughs> hey Siri, are there really transformers at the Hoover Dam? Don't laugh, I need to wee so bad. I just said the title of this video might end up being piss my pants at the Hoover Dam, brackets world's highest mileage Lambo. I have to walk so far before we get to anywhere near a toilet. I shouldn't have drank all that iced tea. Oh, I'm like a new man. I've never been so proud. Proud? Not the right word. That's how much of a new man I am. I've forgotten English. I've never been so excited to see a toilet in my life. Anyway, here we are, refreshed and at the top of the Hoover Dam. Um, so this is it. This is what it looks like looking down, which is quite terrifying. But I was saying, I think if you took a run up, you could jump, you could get your back on there and you could slide down. You'd immediately be obliterated when you got to the bottom. But I think you could make it there pretty much unscathed. That would take guts. It, right, it would. It would take guts. <laughs> you know, the, the, thing that's, the thing that's amazing is they say the, the concrete in the middle of this is still wet. No way. Wow. They said it was going to take almost 300 years to cure. It's so thick. Wow, that's crazy. So once again, in an effort to bring you high quality, informative, educational content, we're going to go to the Hoover Dam exhibits and see if we can find out a little bit of history about the dam. Well, I guess we're not getting in here. Ticketless. Okay, we tried. So yeah, the secret entrance to the Transformers cave is underneath the big 
towers here. So this is Lake Mead and Lake Mead was created by damming the Colorado River which is what flows through and powers the dam and now they've made this hoofing great big dam, um, lake and yeah that's how they're making lecky over here. So a little bit more history about the dam there was actually an uh, intense bidding war when the dam was completed between uh, Dyson and between Hoover, the two biggest vacuum cleaner manufacturers in the world. And uh, it was close, but Hoover eventually won. And so this was gonna be called the Dyson Dam, but actually <laughs> Hoover won the rights and it has been that for the last 400 years. And um, there's actually talk of it becoming the T-Mobile Dam soon. Uh, I think that the uh, license is up for tender, so keep your eyes peeled. Maybe I could get in there. Maybe it could be the Swords Dam. Ooh, she sure is pretty. Bye Hoover Dam, it was fun. I enjoyed that, thank you. Okay, so this is actually off our route, but I just saw this road, which is beautifully paved and quite twisty. So, you know. Okay, so we got to the end of that beautifully paved twisty road. And the reason it's beautifully paved is because it leads to a lookout point. <laughs> so the road was about an eighth of a mile long and uh, I came, came screaming up it and then there's just people up here like, what the hell is this guy doing? But um, take a look at this for a little view. Ready? So let's just talk for a second about the fact that this car has done 183,823 miles and it drives like a new car. I mean, seriously, the gear shift is just as quick. It pulls nice and strong. The exhaust sounds amazing. The interior is still incredibly good considering it's had, A, it's a rental. I mean, don't forget, this is a rental. This isn't somebody's pride and joy. This is something that people get into, they drive for four hours and then they hand back. And as much as it is an exotic and people will take care of it, it's a rental and it's done 183,000 miles. I just, I can't get over that. Um, and so, like I said earlier, it's a testament to the build quality of these cars. And so when people think that supercars are, you know, you have to handle them with care and you know, they're fragile little things, clearly not, clearly not these Lambos anyway, because this thing is an absolute beast and it's still going strong. So we get off the freeway and now we get onto these roads, which if you pan that way, you'll see are a lot nicer than that freeway we were just on. Well, we're in the National Park now. I didn't realize that this road took you through a National Park, but it does. So 25 bucks gets you in, and then it's all of these beautiful roads through the desert with Lake Mead just right here. And there's a lookout point that we're going up to in a minute where hopefully we can get another spectacular view of the lake. But if you look that way, you'll see it already. Well, we found ourselves on this nice little private road. So uh, do you want to see how this accelerates? See. All right, so you've got to point that at you then. Right. Ready? I'm scared. Oh. <laughs> shift and then when it starts to come down through the cell so you go outside and I'll come by you so that you guys can hear how good it sounds from the outside hopefully the wind isn't too crazy but yeah it looks pretty crazy so <laughs> all right we'll do it really quick I promise V10, so this is the same engine that's in the R8. Um, so 
like Mike's R8, for example, yeah. that's this, but with a supercharger. Oof. So it's even faster. This can go faster? Oh yeah, a lot faster. You throw a VF Engineering supercharger kit on one of these, and they get up to like 800 horsepower. I'm gonna go for They're right 640 anyway. standard, I believe. So yeah, you add on like an extra 100 plus horsepower. Mm, I can't even imagine. It is incredible that this is only about, what, 40 minutes, would you say? 35, 40 minutes yeah. outside of Vegas. So you don't have to just stay on the strip when you come to Vegas. There's so many other things you can do. And even if you don't rent something like this, it's still amazing to come out and see the uh, the countryside in whatever. I mean, you could get a convertible Mustang and have just as much, well, maybe not as much, but you could have a lot of fun <laughs> in something like a convertible Mustang, which is super cheap. So definitely, if you come to Vegas, think about getting out in a car and just spending half a day exploring, because it's well worth it. I can definitely recommend this loop. I just found it on Google Maps when I was looking for places to go around the Hoover Dam, and I saw that this was like a perfect two and a half hour loop from royalty. So I can definitely recommend it. If you rent a car from them, do this. And also, if you rent this 200, or almost 200,000 mile Lambo, don't be worried, don't be scared, because it's an animal, absolute animal. It, it's probably, other than a, a straight piped one, it's probably the wildest sounding hurricane I've ever driven. Like the pops and... It's just, it's never ending. Like even, I was just driving in auto mode and it downshifted by itself and bah, 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 bah. it like scared the bejesus out of me because I didn't think it was going to do it. Just such a, a visceral car. So yeah, definitely, if you're looking to rent a hurricane, ask for the red one that Adam drove because it is brilliant. that I'd missed my turn by about 15 miles. So we double back on ourselves and uh, now we're on track to get back at the right time. But yeah, if you guys ever come out to Vegas, then check that out. I will actually put a link in the description through to my website and I'll put the map on there so that you guys can follow it as well. Uh, so yeah, it'll just be on swords.com, S-W-R-D-Z or Z if you're American.com uh, and you can check it out there. But yeah, now we're just gonna hightail back over to Royalty. I think we're back on freeways now, so it's not gonna be that exciting. Um, but yeah, what an absolute weapon this thing is. I'm just so impressed with a car with this many miles on being so so well screwed together and man does it go well just like that here we are back at royalty exotics it's been an amazing day like this car i just i can't get over the fact that this has done 183,000 miles it looks amazing it sounds amazing it drives amazing what lamborghini well done well done the fact that you can make a car that will keep going at that level of peak performance for 183,000 miles is amazing. Um, so guys, I just wanna say a huge thank you for all of you that watch these videos, for you guys that subscribe. It means so much to me that you support the channel and you know that you come along on these adventures with me. And I really do hope that this inspires you guys to get out there and do things and just, yeah, live life. I get messages on Instagram from people saying that after watching the videos, they've gone and booked trips and they're doing other things. And you know, that means so much to me and it really does put the wind in my sails to go out and do more of these and just keep on creating. So thank you so much. Like, uh, thank you. Thank Thank you guys. Um, so yeah, that's it. We're gonna fly back to LA now. Uh, what a great way to spend a Sunday. If you haven't subscribed, please make sure you do. Uh, give this video a thumbs up because that really helps. And until next time guys, don't do anything I wouldn't do. See ya.